good, y'all. So I'm going to be giving you guys my week six NFL predictions. For week five, I went 11 and five. So that was really good. I think it brought our record up to, or brought my record up to 43 and 37. So hopefully we can make, hopefully we can get more predictions right this week and get into the double digits because there are going to be teams on buys, I believe, this week. I don't know. We'll see when I look at the, uh, when I look at the website. But, um, yeah, I do think there are going to be some teams on a bye week this week, so we got to get more right. We got to get a lot right, actually, if you want to beat my record for last year. So, um, yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video. And I got my wisdom teeth removed, which is why I'm kind of talking softly. And um, it's still kind of swollen here, so it's like, uh, it's not bothering me, but it's just like preventing me from talking like, from pronouncing my S's pretty, you know, well, so it's just swollen there. Uh, but uh, that video will be coming out soon when I got it removed, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's get right on into the predictions. Okay, so we got a lock in this week because there's four teams on a bye: the Texans, the Titans, the Raiders, and the Lions. So we got to lock in, get a lot of these predictions right. So uh, first, we got the Jaguar. Well, actually, no, let's start with Thursday night football. Okay, with the Washington Commanders, C Commanders, and the Chicago Bears. Uh, this is a Pretty tough one because both teams are bad, but I'm gonna have to go with the Bears. Um, I don't believe in the Commanders. The Bears have a good pass rush. Well, I mean the 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 Bears have a decent defense. I think they'll be able to to hold their own against the Commanders. Uh, uh, Carson Wentz has been the most sacked quarterback this season, and it doesn't look like the offensive line is getting any better. So I'm gonna go with the Bears here. Plus, I feel like Justin Fields will be able to do pretty well against Washington's defense. Next, we got the 49ers against the Falcons. In no way, the 49ers lose this game. They they should not lose this game. They will not lose this game. And they better not lose this game. Because even if Bo Bosa is not playing, Emmanuel Mosley is not playing, Jimmy Ward is not playing, regardless, you should win this game. The offense for the Falcons, they couldn't really do that much against the Bucks defense. And I think, in my opinion, the, the Niners defense is better than the Bucks defense. And the and Mari, Mar, Mariota is inconsistent. I don't think he's that good. They don't have they don't have that many weapons on offense. They lost Russell Gage. Really they only have Zacchaeus and some of and I don't know who the other guy is. The only person I know who's on the Falcons who's a wide receiver is Zacchaeus. And the Niners offense has been rolling, so they should be able to do this. And no way this is a trap. I don't get... People are saying that this is a trap game for the Niners. I don't see why, in any way, this is a trap game for the 49ers. They just beat Carolina, who's a bad team. Beat this one. This is not a trap game. It's not like... It's not comparable to when the Niners faced the Saints in 2019. Or we're, we're on the road. They faced the Saints. I think they faced like the Pack. I, I don't know. They faced like good teams. And the last good team they faced was the Saints on the road. And it was a big win. 48 to 45. Or 47 to 45. And then they played the Falcons who were absolutely trash that year. And they lost. It's not like that. It's they played a trash team before. And they're playing another trash team now. So this should not be a trap game. The Niners should win this game. If they lose, it's an upset. It's a disappointment. And they better not. Because then they're going up against Kansas City the next week. I don't Next, we got the Cardinals and the, and the Seahawks. Battle of the Birds. Uh, Cardinals, they, they did pretty well against the undefeated Eagles, but they couldn't get it done because the kicker missed the field goal. Um, and other stuff, too. Sorry, guys, I yawned. But then, yeah, the Seahawks, I mean, their offense is pretty good. And they haven't. And then this is a pretty difficult game to pick because both teams are good and they're in. Uh, the, both teams are decent in. You know, both teams are decent on both sides of the ball. Uh, the Seahawks offense, I'd say, is a little better than the Cardinals offense. But then again, the Seahawks defense is just really, really terrible. Dead last in the NFL. So I got to go with the Arizona Cardinals here. Next, we've got the Panthers and the Rams. As bad as the Rams looked, I'm still going to pick them because of the fact they just have a better team. If they lose, then the Rams are not going to make the playoffs. And the Rams might not even make the playoffs because I think the Niners are going to win the division just because of how better they, how much better they are than the teams inside their own division. We'll see. The Niners always struggle against the Cardinals, so maybe they'll get some few losses, a few losses there. Maybe, probably two losses, maybe even one. 
against the Cardinals when they face them twice in the season later on. But uh, I think the Niners are going to win the division. The Rams, I mean, they're terrible, but they're not as bad as the Panthers. We'll see how the we'll see how bad Matt Rule actually was when their new coach takes over because Panthers have a new coach now. He's going to take over. And we'll see how they play against the Rams. But no way, the Rams are at home facing the Panthers. Just came off a terrible loss to the Cowboys. There's no way. There's no way the Rams lose this game. Next, you got the Cowboys and the Eagles. I'm gonna have to choose the Eagles here. Although I do like the Cowboys. I don't like the Cowboys, but this season the Cowboys have been good with Cooper Rush. I think if the Cowboys had Dak, I consider more about picking them. But their offense can't really put up points. It's like the Niners' offense. The Cowboys' offense can't really put up points, but their defense can, and their defense is really good. But then again, the Philly. The, not the Phillies. The Philadelphia Eagles have a pretty good, have a really good defense as well, and their offense is outstanding. And they can actually put up points. They're averaging twenty seven a game, so I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Next, we got the Jets at the Packers. This is a no brainer. I'm going with the Packers. If you guys lose, then New York owns you guys, because both their teams beat you this season. So, granted, one of them was in London, but still, you guys are still. That's the, that, that's that that's inspiring that the Giants actually beat the Packers. That's actually kind of cool. I like the Giants this year. Saquon's been carrying me in my fantasy. Next, we have the Bengals going in, uh going into New Orleans. I'm picking the Bengals here. I just think the Bengals have a better offense. And I don't know. I mean, the Saints they've they're so inconsistent. They did they they poop the bed. One game, then they score 40-plus points the next games against the Seahawks. But I do think the Bengals have a decent defense, and I think they'll be able to hold their own against the Saints. And the Saints don't have a good defense, and their offense is terrible. Next, we have the uh, Ravens at the Giants. Now, I want to. I like the Giants. If they win, I'll be happy, but I got to go with the Ravens. The Ravens' offense is doing well, and their defense is doing well as well. The, it'll come down to them being able to finish the game in the second half because they choked a lot of leads. But against the Giants, I don't think that will happen. All I need is Saquon to go off, and the Giants, is, and I'll be happy. Next, we got the Bucks and the uh, Steelers. I need Saquon to go off because of my fantasy. But next, we got the Bucks and the Steelers. This is a no-brainer. Next, we got the Vikings and the Dolphins. Dolphins might not even have Teddy Bridgewater and... Their other quarterback looks decent, but they lost by a lot to the Jets. And the, the the Dolphins' defense let the Jets score 40, so I'm going with the Vikings. Next, we've got the Jaguars at the Colts. I'm going to choose the Jaguars. The Colts have just been inconsistent. They beat the Chiefs, but then they, they beat the Broncos, but then again, it was the, it's the Broncos. And the Jaguars always seem to do well against the Colts, so I'm going to go with the Jaguars. It's like the Niners with the Rams. Like the, Ni- like the Rams won the Super Bowl, but the Niners beat them twice in the regular season. I think it's gonna. I think that's the same case here with the Jags and the Colts. Next, we've got the Patriots and the Browns. I'm going to go with the Browns. Jacoby Brissett is actually doing pretty decently with the Browns. Bailey Zepp, I'm not trusting the rookie. I'm not. Although I did last week, but that was against the Lions, and Lions had one of the worst defenses. Browns are the more complete team here, so I'm going to go with the Browns. Next, we got the Bills and the Chiefs. This is actually going to be a good game. Um, I'm surprised this wasn't Sunday night. I mean, this game, honestly, this game should have been Monday night. You, you put the char- you put the Broncos and Chargers game in the Sunday, and then you okay. So here's what you do: you put the Bills and the Chiefs game on Monday night. You put the Cowboys and Eagles on Thursday night, and then you put the Broncos and Chargers on Sunday night. And you and you put the Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears on an, uh, uh, in an early game. All right, but anyways, back to the Bills and the Chiefs. I think the Bills have a better defense, and both offenses are definitely going to score. But the Chiefs haven't really looked good. If you can stop Travis Kelsey, you're going to win. And I think the Bills can do that. So I'm gonna go with the Bills. No one else was catching touchdown passes for the Chiefs against the Raiders. The only person who was catching touchdown passes from Mahomes was Travis Kelsey. So if you stop him, I think you stop the Chiefs. But uh, I hope Marcus Valdez Scantling can do well because he's on my fantasy team as well. Uh, next, we got the Broncos and the Chargers. Um, I'm gonna go with the Chargers. Uh, I don't know why I have to think about that. Pretty easy decision. I just hope the Chargers can destroy the Broncos because the Broncos are complete trash. They suck. They're dog doo-doo. 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.